The parent-child relationship is undoubtedly one of the most cherished of human institutions, especially for Canada's indigenous peoples. However, that bond appears to be increasingly being broken, with Canadian law enforcers removing children from their parents at a surprising rate. This pining mother says she had 32 armed officers from Canada's newly formed inset counter-terrorism squad arrive at her door and remove her Aboriginal children. It is a business, it is. Um, ever since they took our children this time, it was the same thing. Inset team came, over 32 officers. There was gun, they, kept, they took the children at gunpoint, treated us like terrorists. I mean, you know, yeah, why, ever why? since, and then, and then ever since we were there, they said, oh, well, you're never getting your children back. Such parents say family law is often ambiguous with nebulous allegations of neglectful parenting serving as justifications for the state-sanctioned removal of children. Studies suggest that the Alberta government is seizing children at an alarmingly high rate, whereas the government of Japan takes only 17 children per 10,000 and the government of the Canadian province of Ontario 64 children per 10,000 the government of Alberta takes an astounding 111 children per 10,000. Some upset parents allege that there is a profit motive behind what they refer to as the kidnapping of their children by the so-called child protection services. While the Canadian government claims to care about the longevity of Aboriginal cultures, this lady says the authorities are insensitive to parents who seek to raise their native children traditionally. It definitely is um, a money-making uh, scheme because uh, a lot of uh, Native children have been sold into adoption. And, um, but it definitely is also an uh, assimilation program, a genocidal program, um, you know, in order to eradicate any traditional Natives who could uphold uh, the original treaties that gave the people the right to exist on this land and who would also have the right to make these land claims and claims to the natural resources, which this government is desperately trying to get complete control over. This disrupted family is not the first to have contacted Press TV. These ladies claim that the Canadian media won't properly cover the controversial removal of vast numbers of children from their families by so-called child protection services. Joshua Blakeney, Press TV, Calgary.